Here with Yaki Avia, the Towson Tigers. Yaki, you welcome to CA Football Media Day. Thanks. You were uh, one of the most productive defensive linemen in the CA last season. 52 tackles, 11 and a half tackles for loss from uh, the tackle spot. Uh, is getting into the backfield one of your biggest strengths as a lineman, you think? I mean, yeah, that's that's what our D-line coach, Coach Curtis, he, he stresses that a lot, just being in the backfield and wrecking havoc to, to other teams because it's, it's hard for a team to do anything when the D-line's in the backfield. Is, is that kind of the favorite part of being in the line? A lot of times you guys are stuck in the trenches and it's the linebackers and D-backs yeah. who are getting all the publicity. Yeah, definitely. Go, going back there and making plays in the backfield is a lot of fun. You are also a, an excellent student. You made the FCS academic all-star team. Talk about how difficult it is to balance the demands of being a, a football player with the, at this level with the, all the academic work. Yeah, uh, when, when I first came in, time management was one of the, my main problems, just like you know, trying to balance it out because it is, it is very difficult. But uh, as, as I've gone through the years, it's, it's become easier. You know, I, I went from a 2-9 my first semester to a 4 my second semester. So, wow. so yeah. Um, you were born in Nigeria. When did you come to the United States? I came in uh, May of 96. Is there interest in American football at all? Uh, not really. Um, I know that the, the president of Nigeria was trying to get an American football game played there next season, but I doubt that's going to happen But because the interest is not that high. It's mainly soccer is the main sport over there. When, when did you start When did you start playing football? Uh, I played like one year of uh, Little League uh, when I think what, seventh or eighth grade. Actually, no, it was probably like sixth grade. And then mainly, though, I played when I, in ninth grade just because I, I was playing soccer pretty much before, and then all my friends were like, you know, you should play football, you should play football. So. I decided to put the pads on. How big is how big was soccer back home? And has, and when you just got through the World Cup yeah, and all that, how, yeah, how big of a deal is it's, that? It's it's huge. Like everybody, like it's it's pretty much a national holiday. If if the Nigerian international team is playing, like they will actually like school will be off and everything like that. And you actually everybody just sits around the TV and just watches them. Is there anything that uh, you were able to take from being a soccer player that translates at all to, to, to American football? Um, <laughs> let me think. Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't think so. I mean, just the, the same thing with team camaraderie. That's that's definitely part of it. But besides that, it's it's a completely different sport. Were you uh, kind of hooked to American football right away once you started playing? Start playing it definitely. Yeah, it just it was just so fun. You know, get to go out there and get to hit people, and you don't even get in trouble for it. So <laughs> it was great. Now, both of your parents are, are physicians. Have, have you ever thought about getting into the medical field? Or uh, you thought about? Not really. My my little brother is is actually on his career path for that right now at University of Pennsylvania. But me, I've been more of an analytical and like real logical thinker, so I've, I've been more math and computer-related stuff. Yeah, the Tigers have nine starters back on the, on the defense this season. Can you talk about uh, your expectations for that unit heading into the year? It's going gonna, it's gonna to make us be a lot more aggressive. You know, everybody's comfortable with the playbook, and once, once you're comfortable with the playbook, you can just go out there uh, head first, and you don't have to worry about you know, messing up or anything like that because you already know what you're doing, so you're, you're able to go full speed every single play. Talk about how difficult this conference is year, week in and week out. The past two national champions yeah. have come out of the CA. And yeah. You guys before, not no divisions this year, but we're in a division with, with the past two national champs. Yeah. Uh, talk about the challenges of that every week. Yeah, definitely. You know, you have to come out. You have to give it your best. You have to prepare like like you're going to beat the best teams because you play the best teams. So it's, it's difficult every single week. You know, you just know that you're going to get the best team, one of the best teams in the nation, and you just got to prepare like that. Coach Ambrose is certainly a very high energy guy. Talk about the, the difference he's made around the program and, and what, what your expectations are going into this year. Uh, one, one thing with Coach Ambrose is he's real particular in what he says. So whenever he says something, it's, it's kind of like there's like two meanings to it. Like you, you might get it at the surface at first, but then later you'll be like, oh, that's what he really meant. And then it'll really hit you like, yeah, I really need to do that. So uh, going into the season this year, though, definitely every, everybody is just excited. Everybody wants to play. Everybody wants to fight for that spot and see who's going to be on the field. So it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, Yaki, thanks for joining us today. Right. Enjoy CA football meeting today. All right, thanks. Thanks, thanks for having me.